Hello and welcome to a surprise live pop-up video. Now, of course, I had to do this one um, because, well, it's kind of a little bit fake news and a little bit partially based on the truth. So I'm not going to call it completely fake news, but there is a lot of sensationalism going on with what you can see in the title. So the topic of this video, and I'm going to go kind of straight into it, is, and I've got written down a load of notes because I want to go through all of this properly, um, is that Meghan and Harry, and this is a kind of a, a quote from lots of headlines and things that I've seen, Harry and Meghan are facing a tax nightmare. Tax nightmare, they say. Um, as finances come under scrutiny from the US is IRS, which is the US tax office. Now, first of all, I will start off by saying I am not a United States of America tax expert. And I'm going to go through the whole ream of accusations and things that have been bounded around. Um, but I will tell you at the very, very top of this video, and you will probably laugh when you get to the end of the video, but I'm, I will do a big reveal at the end of the video. It took me five minutes to Google what the solution was to this tax nightmare. And uh, we, 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 just stay tuned. I mean, I can't even speak. Just stay tuned. Let's go, let's go through it all. Oh no, actually, I'm going to go to the chat room first um, because I want to see all of you. By the way, I'm wearing Meghan's tiara, um, the Queen Mary um, diamond bandeau, her wedding tiara. So let me just pull up um, this live chat and I will silence myself on the screen. Um, okay, so I can see everyone in the room. I will take questions and comments later. I just want to kind of go through it a bit like a mini lecture. So we'll start with the, the kind of accusations and, and some of the facts as well. So Meghan is undergoing full a full legal process to become a British citizen. Now this is key. Um, however, she is still required until she is a British citizen to comply with the US tax laws until that time. Uh, now the process could take two years uh, and then once it's gone through she can renounce her US citizenship which means that she will not be under any US tax laws. Also I'm led to believe. Uh, but until then, don't worry, she's not going to be kicked out of the country. Um, <laughs> She has been granted permanent leave to remain, which means that she can stay until obviously all of this process has gone through. Now, she isn't being fast tracked. She is going through it. I think the palace is making a point of, you know, that she's got to go through the process fully. And like I said, that can take up to two years. So this problem, this tax nightmare um, could last for several years. So I did a little bit of research and the IRS can take into account Megan's income so that's her personal income and bear in mind the bulk of her money she earned while she was acting in the US so her personal fortune however much that is um, I know there's been lots of numbers bandied around um, as has been earned in the US not in the UK um, they also look at money available now this is a little bit of an ambiguous term but money available um, Harry has been estimated at being worth about 20 million UK pounds. I don't know how true that is, so let's just bear that in mind. But if it is true that it's around about 20 million, that would give him an annual income estimated at 300,000 pounds a year. Estimated. Um, they also take into account gifts and they're um, saying royal gifts are included, included in that. There's also accusations that Charles and the Queen, the Queen's funding, uh, would be taken into account. However, I would dispute that because a lot of the Queen's, well, actually, Prince Charles funds Harry and Meghan. Um, the royals do not receive a salary for being a working royal, so you can't class that as income. Any allowances are used to pay expenses for the royal duties. So, for example, whatever it costs Harry and Meghan to attend um, a certain engagement, that will be granted by the Prince of Wales from the Duchy of Cornwall. Um, so it's not actually income. So I, I disagree with that point. These are all points that have been made in articles and um, other YouTube videos. So I'm just kind of picking them apart. So I don't agree with that one at all. And also royal gifts. Um, they can only actually keep royal gifts if they're um, £200 or under, under £200. So again, I very much doubt that those would be taken into account. 
Um, and also, Diana and the Queen Mother's legacy is under threat, they claim. Um, again, I don't think that, uh, that Diana or the Queen Mother's legacy is under threat, and we'll get to why in a second. Um, as I said before, money available is fairly an ambiguous term. Um, there's lots of UK things that you could do um, to kind of say that actually Meghan doesn't have full access to Harry's money. Um, part of it could be uh, because it's invested in things that you can't get at for a, a, l a large amount of time, um, that kind of thing. But there are lots of things that you could do um, to, to make it so that Harry's money is his personal money and kind of not jointly accessed by a mega. Now, there are also diplomatic implications. Um, and I've put in my notes, shoe on the other foot, and I've put Trump. So I'm going to use President Trump as an example. So if the shoe was on the other foot and say, I don't know, say Ivanka had married Harry. <laughs> say it was Ivanka marrying Harry. Would Trump like it or would the US government like it if we had the same kind of tax laws as the US and we were wanting um, financial information on Ivanka and how much money Trump was giving her for funding, it would be a diplomatic nightmare. And I am perfectly sure that there would be some kind of exemption being negotiated anyway. Um, so yes, yeah, so just think about it. If the shoe was on the other foot, what would America do? Hmm. Um, so there are accusations that the royal family, um, it, it, that it, it is the royal family's worst nightmare. Again, very sensationalist talk and you'll laugh when you when, when I get to the answer, when I get to the conclusion, you really will. Um, so Buckingham Palace, uh, these are other accusations, have reportedly been recruiting a team of US financial experts and the Queen is going to help Meghan. No, it took me five minutes on Google. <laughs> there was there will not be a team of US tax experts. If I'm correct, and I do believe I am, it literally took me five minutes to Google the answer. And you will, you really will laugh. Um, so the options available, um, actually, this is the bit where I need to read you what the actual answer is. So let me go to, I've got it on my screen here. So there are a few options available. And on the website that I am looking at, um, it's option two. Um, and that is, are you ready for it? All she has to do is choose to treat her spouse as a non-resident alien for tax purposes. And I'm going to read it exactly as it says. So, if you decide you don't want to include your non-resident alien, Harry, um, income on your US tax return, you generally will have to use the filing status of married separate, okay? If you file as married separate and your spouse has no income from sources within the US, which Harry doesn't, and is not claimed as a dependent of another US taxpayer, which he's not, you can claim an exemption for your non-resident alien spouse. There we go. CIRS Publication 17. Um, you need to be sure to obtain an individual taxpayer identification number for your spouse before filling the return. So basically, all she's got to do is fill in a form and um, choose to treat Harry as a non-resident alien. There we go. Um, it's so simple. It took me five minutes on Google to sort out. So all this waffle about the Queen's going to employ an army of tax experts. No, you just need to Google. Five minutes on Google. That's all you need. Um, so like I say, I am not a US tax expert. Um, if I have got this wrong, please tell me if you know way more than I do about tax. I'm not professing to know all the answers, but it literally took me five minutes on Google. Um, so I'm going to go now to the chat room and um, see what you're all saying. Because it was just such a simple, simple, simple solution. Um, it's, it's just a problem that's not even there. It really isn't. Um, Okay, I've just popped out the chat. So, oh, by the way, uh, Cynthia has donated 4 99 by Super Chat. So thank you so, so much, Cynthia. 
Um, let's have a look. Uh, I'm going to start at the top of the comments and just kind of work down. So everyone who said hello, hello to you all. Um, let's go down. Um, Annette has said what I said. Spouses can file separately and only if US citizens. Harry is not, so she doesn't have to pay on his net worth. Not a problem. Rich people have lots of loopholes, which is exactly what I said. It took me five minutes. Um... Let's have a look. Arnold Sanders says they do not tax money available. They tax. Yes, that's what I was getting at. I was getting at the fact that Harry had 20 million and that the income on that is 300,000. So, so they'd be after, um, reportedly, if you believe all the lies, they'd be after um, the tax on his 300,000. That's what I was getting at. Okay, let's have a little peeky up here. Um, Live, Love and Laugh says, yes, they can't even get tr Trump to show his own tax returns. I'm glad you said it because that was my own thoughts as well. Uh, Marie D says, nice comparison. Thank you. Um, Mike Crown G says, so the tabloids can't survive by using Megan's name for clicks and views. Shameful. It is indeed. And that's why I have to keep making these sorts of videos to combat all the lies. Um, someone was talking about the IRS. Miranda says the IRS can't do anything until they audit. There is no audit until. Um, Jay Stree says, to the best of my knowledge, according to friends that live and work outside the US, Megan is required to pay taxes on any money she makes. That includes invested or property she owns. It does indeed, but um, not for Harry. Um, so yes, until she, she, she declares herself an um, a non-US citizen, she will have to comply with US tax laws, but my point is that she can exempt Harry. Um, Mary West says, maybe the confusion is the different tax laws in each country. I really doubt there will be all that much of a problem. I think the news outlets are creating problems to sell papers. I would agree with you entirely. Um, Green Queen B says, you've got it right. Thank you. Um, CF says, you're such a clever man, please help Megan. Five minutes on Google, that's all it took. Uh, but Princess says, wow, you're wearing Megan's wedding tiara, looks super amazing. Um, HM says, you are the best because you cut through the bleep. Sweet Trinity says, you look marvellous, thank you. Um, Cindy says, you have it right, married filing separate does have higher tax bracket. Well, I I'm sure she can afford that little bit. For a couple of years, anyway. Then she won't have to, anyway. Um, n let's have a look. Nefeta Pri says, everything you said is true. They just need... Th yeah, they do just need a Megan story. I would agree there. Hello to Jay Leon, who's sending me hugs. Um, hello to RKD in Grenada, or Grenada. Uh, Tam G says, this is all hysterical. Thanks for the afternoon giggle. It is. It's, it's just, it is ridiculous. It really, really is. Um, Cindy says, but Elliot, you are cute when you make these videos and you are nice about it. I know, but it is a pain. It is a pain to make these videos about combating the fake royal news. Um, it really is. I shouldn't have to do it. That's the point. Um, but I will keep doing it because I want people to know the truth. Um, my Crown G says, yes, she lived in Canada. I'm sure she knows about tax filing outside of the US. Well, it is slightly different now that she's married, admittedly. How are we doing for time? Oh, we're fine for time. Suzanne says, hi Elliot, greetings from Germany. Greetings, greetings. By the way, if anyone has just joined the chat, I, I won't go through all the waffle again. I'll just um, read that. Basically, to get out of this uh, tax nightmare that everyone's claiming, um, all Megan has to do is fill in a different um, type of tax account, say, declaring Harry as a non-resident alien for tax purposes. That is the simple solution. Um, so there is no drama. There's no hoo-ha here, it's incredibly simple. They don't need an army of tax experts. The Queen doesn't need to step in and help. It's just really simple. Um, no story here, basically. Oh, by the way, uh, Meghan and Harry have, um, I've seen a photo, they have arrived at the Royal Variety performance and Meghan is wearing black. I'm sorry to disappoint. I know lots of people want to see her 
um, in different coloured clothes. I do think she's kind of maybe becoming conscious of bump, I don't know, uh, but she is wearing black. It has kind of um, like white embroidery on the upper part of the gown that she's wearing and she does look stunning, I have to say, but if you were expecting a colour, I'm sorry to disappoint. And no tiara. Urgh. I wanted to see her in the tiara again. Um, so yeah, no tiara, sorry. Um, hello to, to, to Teresa Jackson in Texas. And yes, Mrs. VSNCO9, Harry is not a US citizen. Charlotte P says, must admit these articles do sometimes fool me. And yes, there is definitely no tax nightmare. Um, okay, I've just spoken about the Royal Variety performance they've just attended. Um, Misty Fleetwood says, she can file married but file separate. That's what she. That's what she needs. That is what she needs to do. Took me five minutes on Google, but I'll admit filing anything, uh, but normally can be a nightmare. Heck, just filing taxes in another state is a nightmare. Well, that's maybe where she may have a little bit of help. I mean, I'm sure she'll have um, an accountant to fill in the tax form, but it won't be an army of them. Mike Cran G says yes. I was sorry to see her in black. She looks good. I just think people. Um, like a, a different colour. And Arnold Sanders says no curls. Yeah, no curls. Sorry, if you were, if you wanted curls. Jamie H M the King says I think Her Majesty wouldn't agree to writing the royal down as an alien uh, on any form. I'm sure um, a certain YouTuber would love to know that Harry's been declared an alien, and I know you know who I mean. <laughs> Um, Suzanne says, I don't understand why people see always picking on Meghan, clothing, taxes, royal behaviour. Because people click on it. That's all it is. People click on it and it makes them money. And Jamie says, God's blessing to y'all. God's blessings to y'all, people. Um, Mrs. VSN 9 says, all the US citizens are cracking up at the press. At least I would... Uh, because she had filed for working, living in Canada, so there's nothing for folks to get all worked up over. True, I mean, the only difference is she's she's married now, that's all. Um, hello to Margaret, who's in Salt Lake City, US of A. Oh, by the way, um, I did sort out my parcel problem, for those of you who saw the weekly vlog. It is coming to me, so I haven't lost the parcel. Woohoo! Uh, will we see photos of Harry and Meghan this week? Uh, yes, you'll see some tonight, although I probably won't put them on my channel until tomorrow because it is getting late. Uh, but there are just some photographs of Harry and Meghan floating around of the arrival at the Royal Variety performance. Okay, the, the Pratt says, love the tiara. Hey from New York, hello to you. Okay, I'm going to leave it here because I've basically just, just gone through it. Like I said, five minutes on Google, that's all it took. Um, and if all of these fake news channels would have taken five minutes to Google it, um, then I'm sure they would have come to the same conclusion that it's a non-story. So stop telling lies, all of you naughty, naughty people out there. Um, so thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please give me a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to share on social media and hit that notification bell so that you know whenever I upload a new video. So from me, the purveyor of truth in Shropshire, goodbye. <laughs>